ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಗೋಂದಾವಲೇಕರ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ನಾಮ ಸ್ಮರಣ an imperturbable peace of mind is the prime sign of a saint peace is disturbed not by external circumstances but by internal stability on account of selfishness there can be no peace where there is duality a feeling of being different from god a feeling of oneness with god gives real peace of mind this is the very foundation of all spiritual quest wealth and popular acclaim are both transitory and the sense of security and pleasure they may give are equally short lived two things destroy peace of mind regrets over the past and anxiety about the future when we firmly realize the futility of either knowing that both are as god dispenses them then there remains no reason for losing peace and contentment another necessary thing to obtain stability of mind is good virtuous conduct in its absence there can be no peace remorse will kill it if we remember always that god is omniscient that he is a witness not only to every act but also to every thought there will be no possibility of an improper action virtuous dutiful action is the very foundation of spiritual progress there was once a sadhu who was completely attuned to god immersed in him a kindly passer by found him sitting with the blazing sun fiercely beating on him in the face he picked the sadhu up and put him under a tree in a neighboring farm in a short in a short while people started coming there to see the sadhu and the throng hindered the ploughing work of the farmer so he picked up the sadhu and placed him in the shade elsewhere the sadhu was all the while utterly unperturbed being fully occupied in contemplation so what is required for peace is not quite circumstances but freedom of mind from anxiety uncomplaining acceptance of god's will and absence of doership kings have fought won or lost ruled and died 
and passed into oblivion but the names of saints not only live on but endure on the lips of everyone because the saints were embodiments of peace how can such peace be acquired by nothing but ceaseless remembrance of the lord by unquestioning faith that everything that happens is by his will peace disturbed by the crossing of our desire or expectation will soon be restored if we immediately resort to namasmarana namaste sharade devi kashmir apuravasini swamaham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehime goodbye